So kick streaming soared in quarter one of 2024, surpassing Twitch in growth rates across core metrics. That's pretty insane. Now there's a graphic here with 132.2 million hours watched in January, 130.2 million hours watched in February, 146.1 million hours watched in March. Now, how is that? If we go to the website here, we can see a bit of a breakdown. Let's go through and, and, and read this a little bit. Okay. The live streaming scene so far this year has gotten to uh gotten to quite okay, gotten off to quite an exciting start, continuing to build on a busy 2023. While a majority of the big names who moved between platforms last year have settled in and gotten used to the grind in their new homes. They have also brought along the thousands of viewers who have followed them in their journeys across companies and the years. And you can see the most watched streaming platforms. And I mean, it's no joke. I mean, it's really no joke here. I mean, YouTube is insane, but YouTube is always counted out. All right. YouTube is by far way bigger than Twitch, but it's always counted out. Now, Twitch is majority games and YouTube is not majority games. It's majority like just chatting stuff or karaoke or ASMR or whatever. Um, but YouTube is the Goliath in the streaming industry, but it's very, very kind of hidden. OK. Very kind of hidden. Right, and then they said, this is in addition to some of the most well-known internet stars continuing to raise the mark when it comes to viewership figures, making the content creation profession a truly lucrative and fruitful career choice today. The industry also saw a new player enter the market while another continued to cease operations in many previous strongholds. And you can see here, um, you can see here, most watched smaller streaming platforms, you have Kick with 408.5 million hours watched, followed by Africa, uh, Africa TV, ne uh, Nemo, Rumble, and all these other ones. Okay. All these, what the heck is that one? All right. Followed by all these other ones. And um, uh, Nemo TV shutting down operations in a few regions. Interesting. Interesting. So um, it's 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 quite interesting. So let's see. It. Kick also saw a huge rise in its tri monthly watch time, a large jump from plus twenty seven point two percent compared to its quarter four twenty twenty three number, with an increasing number of streamers joining the stake backed endeavor, especially from Turkey, post the brief barring of Twitch and the likes of XQC and Amaranth fully embedding. Uh, fully betting after mid-year moves in 2023. It is gradually flexing its muscles and becoming a serious leader among the smaller platforms when it comes to esports, live broadcasts, and general content creation. Which is also true because, well, I mean, um, Kick did just recently partner with World Chase Tag to be able to live stream World Chase Tag on Kick and a couple other like esports arenas and stuff like that. They've partnered with them and they're trying to get those out there uh, as well. Of course, um, Kick is also benefiting from Twitch's DJ change, uh, the Turkey change, the South Korea ban, um, or the South Korea like Twitch getting out of there. So, Kick is benefiting from a lot of this stuff. And I think that's why there's a big reason why they're growing so much. But keep in mind, all of these numbers do include ViewBots. They do, because the ViewBots are counted in here. And we know that there are a lot of ViewBots on Kick. We know that there are a lot. There's a good amount, okay? Uh, and people do pay for them. And it's terrible, but we know that that is true. So take all these numbers with a grain of salt, I would say, okay? Okay.